right guys we've got a nice shielding knife here for you and I love that they put a lot of information on the bottom here so this is the Barascuda let's take a look at it product instructions some nice manufacturing pictures there I like to see engineering style pictures yeah pretty cool all right so here's a pouch I've got to say it looks awesome the stitching is all nice and even decent gauge heavy gauge nylon decent sized belt loop there with press stud fastening makes it easy putting it on and off on and off the belt so you don't have to undo your belt velcroed on there velcro fastening let's take a look at the knife all right i already know this this is right up my alley this knife it's <laughs> it's perfect for me i like the bigger knives and this is what is it five and three quarter inches thereabouts in the closed position i think it's got a three and three quarter inch blade but uh and i'm a fan of stainless steel the body is it's a frame lock body and it's 3CR14 stainless steel and it's got carbon fibre inlay. Now I know that they've milled out underneath this is a lot of milling to keep the stainless steel light and it does, it doesn't feel bad at all. If it wasn't milled out it would be heavy as a brick <laughs> but uh, yeah we'll take a look at the milling in a minute. It's got a G10 backspacer here, big, big lanyard hole, um, yeah, but also that cuts out a big chunk of stainless so it helps keep the weight down. We've got a flipper tab here, it's got a couple of lines on there, yeah, it gives it a little bit of grip and it looks like we can maybe spidey flick this thing open. Blade centering, perfect beautiful blade centering the clip is not deep pocket carry um, that much is gonna show out your jeans out your pocket the clip itself it's one of those well, it's a long slender I mean it matches nice and it meets the curve here it looks aesthetically pleasing but um, I prefer deep pocket carry It'd be nice if knives like this came with a second clip, like a deep pocket carry option clip. Um, maybe a Civivi clip will fit on here. I'll give that a try in a little while. See if a deep pocket Civivi clip will go on there. Uh, on the frame here, it looks a little bit rough in there. This cutout, which surprises me because all the rest of, of the knife is super smoothed off and really feels nice but that that's obviously something to do with the manufacturing there um, I'm sure it it's not going to alter anything but it's yeah it just caught my eye so thought I'd mention it looks like T10 and T8 body screws let's have a look T8 yep which is nice that's real nice and T10, yep, T10 on the pivot, which is awesome. Alright, let's flick it open. Yeah, beautiful. Look at that blade. That is a sexy blade. <laughs> I love that. Now I know where the Barascuda name comes from, doesn't it? That blade looks like the front end of a Barracuda fish. That's, uh, that's real nice. Nice grind work, flat grind there. The blade edge that looks perfect yeah really even super super pointy look at that that catches the skin pulls the skin up that's how pointy that is look at that <laughs> that's a super pulky knife for sure looks like it'll be a really good slicer really good food prep knife too yeah Bit of a bit of a rock there on the blade, so yeah, super slicey. 
That'd be a great food prep knife, I bet. We'll give it a try in a little while. Let's see how sharp it is. Get it a little notepad paper. Oh yeah, that is super slicey. Let's do some thin cuts. Yep. Look at that, it curls up nicely. Sharp as a razor. I love the black titanium coating. That's really nice. Really looks good with the carbon fiber and the black G10 backspacer there, which goes all the way up to here. The lockup, the lockup is right where you want it. And there's your, there's your over travel stop. Drop shutty, yeah, drop shut. The action is amazing on it. Now I know they have ceramic uh, bearings in here, multi-row ceramic bearings. Also has a ceramic detent. The detent, yeah, you can fail it. The detent is is light. Yeah. Let's see if we can spidey flick. Oop, finger got in the way. Spidey flick. Yeah, no worries. Spidey flicks like a boss, actually. I love that. I love that cut out there. Yeah. What a great knife. Feels awesome. Like your finger just slots down here to rip the release bar, the frame lock release. Easy to get to. And I'm a bit fussy about them. Yeah, easy to get to. Yeah, it's a really nice looking knife. Yeah, we've got Barascuda written on here and Django. Django's the designer. He's designed a really nice one here. There's some numbers down there, real small. Shielding on this side, D2 for the D2 steel blade, of course. Let's see the thickness of the blade stock. 3.45. So it is a chunky bit of blade stock. 3.45. It's, it's a good, solid knife. But with that flat grind, it makes it super slicey. So this is a strong knife, guys. This isn't no weak knife here. Let's check the lock up. Yeah, solid as a rock. No blade play, no blade rock at, at all. This locks up nice. That's a great knife. What do you say we strip it down and see what's in, going on inside? So we can see there all the milling out that's gone on to cut the weight down. This is milled out real nice too. There's our bearings, multi-row ceramic bearings. It's really pretty, decent bearings on here. guys that's what's going on inside so the carbon fiber is obviously glued in there with some sort of uh, super glue not super glue but um, some sort of epoxy but really nice big milled out areas and that's how they're keeping the weight down using stainless steel and keeping the weight of the knife down but, uh, look at those bearings there 
All right, we're going to give it a clean up, put it back together. And uh, I think we'll have a go at slicing up some food, see how slicey it is. Some go faster juice on it. There's a ceramic detent bowl. boss 100% blade centering perfect yeah I'm, I'm digging it I like it I like it a lot like I said it's right up my alley size wise the use of the blade for defense or or making a sandwich <laughs> let's make a sandwich let's put it to the test all right cheese sandwich time isn't it peanut <laughs> yeah cheese sandwich time how pointy this tip is, slice through this like it's not even there. Peanut loves cheese. Cheese hound. Look how thin that can cut. <laughs> There you go guys, it's a bit better than the sandwich I made the other day. <laughs> Alright, so here's a quick uh, size comparison with somewhat similar knives. We've got the Senkut Hanaris, of course here's the Barascude from Shielding, the Senkut Sitius, the Civivi Riffle. Now the Barascude is got a bigger handle than all of them, it's got a bigger blade, but there's some um, 
comparison there with knives that you guys might recognize give you an idea of size Barascuda. so let me know guys what do you th what do you think about this knife do you like it it's right up my alley I know that it uh, feels really good as it looks good feels good the only thing I would change would be the clip I would like to see the Civivi style clip on there, deep pocket carry, I think it would look awesome on there and it would hide, it would hide that much sticking out your pocket which is quite a bit of bling bling in the sunlight uh, yeah I just prefer deep pocket carry, if they throw in a, a spare clip keep this clip on, throw in one like this let the owner, the buyer decide which one they want on, that would be pretty cool I love that it uh, the slot here so you can spidey flick it open spidey flicks like a beast beautiful blade that blade is awesome I love that blade great for defense great for food prep just a fantastic all-round knife droppy shirt flipper tab works awesome yeah comes with a nice sheath which is a good option. I won't use the sheath, but uh, I carry these from Pocket Carry. Um, that's it. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Check out Amazon. There's links down below. These are on discount right now, so now is a good time to to pick one up if this is your thing. We've got more shield and knives coming up. So watch out for them. I've got three more compliments of shielding. So watch out for those guys. We'll catch you later.